But I would like to get back a little bit to some of the just um, realities you're facing on the campaign trail. But I, I want to ask a bit more about um, your economic policies and, uh, you know, where they align with what the Biden administration is doing um, and what you would how you would be different. Well, you know, number one, we need to end the warfare economy. We need to. So, no, I'm not I'm not aligned with President Biden. President Biden's policies are, you know, dictated by big pharmaceutical companies, by Wall Street, by the military industrial complex. And they're keeping us in a constant state of war and allowing, uh, you know, BlackRock, uh, State Street and Vanguard to strip mine the wealth and the equity from the American middle class and move it upward. And I will uh, I will implement the opposite of those. My policies are traditional Kennedy, FDR, Democratic policies that, you know, say that the, tr the strength of our country is in a vibrant, low, robust middle class, um, is not in warfare abroad, not in creating an imperial state abroad, but creating uh, a, a, a robust, strong industrial based economy at home and uh and freedom at home rather than a surveillance state or a garrison state or a security state which accompanies you know that that warfare mentality oh well, i will wind down the empire abroad i'm going to bring that money home i'm going to stop building a billion dollar stealth bombers that can't fly in the rain and instead take that money and build 1500 schools and poor areas of this country that you know where that where we are neglecting their education you know uh, and give kids computers give them make sure that teachers are adequately paid you know and uh, and start rebuilding the educational infrastructure in this country which has been allowed to deteriorate in order to pay for the wars and that's what martin luther king saw you know you mentioned we, um you mentioned your family we history and i have to choose, we have to choose between the war on poverty and the war and in, uh, in Vietnam or the war in Ukraine. Um, let me 